womp. Womp, 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 womp. Sunshine, we are live. We are live. We are li li live. I have my boy Billy Graham on the line with us today. We are going to chop it up and talk. Billy, and I'm wearing his solo shirt. We got to run Hey. <laughs> Go ahead, introduce yourself to the people that don't know you. What's going on, family? Billy Graham, CEO of Solo One Clothing, trying to help everybody join on the journey. I uh, want y'all to join the journey with me. Um, just retired from the military, trying to get all these business ventures up, trying to build and change the generation for our culture. And this is one of the ways I'm trying, except how we express ourselves throughout what we do best, what clothing, design, everything. Congratulations on the retirement. What did you used to do? Whew. 20 years in the Air Force. I started out in air transportation. I used to load planes all day long. Uh, then I crossed over into education and training where basically I made sure people had the proper training they needed to uh, do and uh, correct uh, and accomplish to do their job. Okay. Now that you're retired, you did this for 20 years. You're now oh, yeah. retired. Break down why you decided to do Solo One. Solo One. So Solo One is about a journey. Um, in Spanish, it means only one. So it's only one you. You're the only one that can control your journey. You're the only one that can write your own life book. You're the, it's all about your life. Now, don't get caught up in the one thing and it's just you by yourself. That one can mean anything. It could be unity as in one, you and your family. When people get married, they become one under God. Uh, when you work with a team, you're a team and you're all on the one to go trying to get to the championship or trying to get to the top, whatever it may be, that one can mean anything. It's always one and you're on the journey together, whether it's by yourself or with a group of people, a family member's team, you're all trying to get to that same destination. And you're going to run through, uh, run into things, all types of obstacles and hurdles. You either go through them, go around them, but you just don't stop. You just don't quit. You get through that journey because the journey never ends. Right on that one. How long did it take for you to put Solo One into play? So it's funny you asked that. <laughs> it was one of those things I had on my mind for a while. Um, I had the concept together, fully together, about a year ago. And I was one of those individuals trying to do what I'm telling others not to do, not quit, not to just sit on it. I just was sitting on it, trying to perfect it. But you know how it goes when you're trying to perfect something to your liking it will never come out. And uh, I knew the whole time it was already where it needed to be, but I was, I'm a real, I'm on top of it. I got a little fine. I got OCD. Let's just call it that. <laughs> I got <a> OCD. <laughs> and so I was like, no, and my family and friends, they're like, what is taking so long? We like it. We see it, put it out there and we put it out there and everybody accepted it. They loved it. I'm happy for it. I see so many people journeying the journey, including yourself. I appreciate the support. Um, but that's what it's all about, your own journey and how you're going to get there. That love. I appreciate your support. You rocking the loyalty. Hey. hey. That's what it's about. Loyalty, <laughs> loyalty, loyalty. That's what we do. Ernest connected us and look at us. Look, I ain't sharp and dying because the simple fact is, if we can't break bread together, then exactly. why are we here? And we're here to do this. We're here to show the old school way how it used to be. Bring it back. <laughs> Some exactly. of us haven't stopped, but the majority is all for self now. And I'm like, yeah, that's not me. I'm not it's, built like that. It, I'm, I'm built man. old school. Built different. Yeah. We are different breed. I love it. Exactly that. So you, that's what a loyalty. You're on the same journey. Your journey might be a little different, but we all going after the same dream. It's enough out there for all of us. We can all meet at the top together. We can help each other along the way to get to the top long as we all helping to get through the journey because this journey ain't hard they uh you know how they say with kids it takes a village well even when you become an adult it still takes a village we still need each other we got to support each other we got to be there for each other so no matter what your journey may be no matter how you get there you know like you said that old school way of thinking that loyalty is you got to be loyal to a fault you, you just can't sit there and try and get over the next person because it's so much out there for everybody we don't have to be in competition exactly now how does your wife feel now that you are now retired i know she's happy yes man i i think on day one i had the longest honey to do list i ever seen in my life <laughs> i was gonna ask that 
She'd be like, now that you're all mine again, so you had a whole long list. Huh? So my wife, uh, the owner of Today's Kids Daycare, Today's Kids Academy. So, you know, we she got to sit up doing whatever she tells me to do. We hop off in there. But as soon as that retirement came, I was like, what was on this list that, of stuff that needed to be done before? <laughs> it's like you were just holding on to it. You're like, yep, I'm just waiting for the day. So it worked out great. Now I got time, freed up time to help out with that. And I, cause I love helping support the family, helping them vision grow. My kids are trying to start in the different things due to COVID. Now I'm able to sit at home and be the at home dad teacher. So I'm daddy teacher now. So it all works together and the journey is great for all of us. Yeah, that, that stay at home. Our school is letting the kids back in starting Monday and they get picked. It's only twice out the day, out the week, Monday and Tuesday, and then Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, they're home, but it's two days in school. And I was like, these numbers is rising. I don't know about that. But they double teamed on me. Nah, ma, we need to be around our friends. We wear our masks. We make sure we do one of these and keep it moving. So, so how does that work with the a day here, a day there? Like, I'm, I'm trying to figure it out because I'm one of those people I try to keep an open mind of things. Mm -hmm. Like, does does COVID say, okay, man, it's Tuesday, I can't touch nobody? Right. <laughs> I voted against it. I said no. The school needs to just be shut down until the school year is over, till they get everything under wraps and the numbers go down. But I I agree with you. Man, he's coming. But these stupid idiots, anyway, I called High Middle and the North and all of them. I said, y'all are stupid. And the superintendent got an email from me too saying, I think it's stupid, but I'm just one parent. We have other parents that's trying to kick their kids out of the house. Then why have kids? I said it. I said it live. Why have kids when you trying to rush them out the house? I'm trying to keep my baby safe. I don't mind them being home. I don't, I don't either. I, I told my people all, all, the, all the time, I was like, it's only really one example I see where the kids should be in school. And those, those, those environments or those households where the parent might be the essential workers or they both might have to go to work, kids not old enough to, I get those circumstances. Mm -hmm. But if you're this, I've seen where literally you have stay at home parents and they're like, my kid needs to go to school. And it's like, but, but you stay at home already. Like, exactly. Let's work together on this. But then again, I'm not I'm not a scientist. I'm not the smartest person. These are just my opinions. This is just our logic. Okay. Exactly. This is our hello. Your kids is better safe home than going in school with all these kids. Yeah. I, I agree. Like but, if you if you have the opportunity to be safe, be safe. Exactly. But we don't know what we're talking about. Okay. No. Okay. I don't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I told him one at man, listen, look at here. I was like, did y'all forget whose mommy y'all are? Like, who's your mama? Did you forget that I don't have it all wrapped too tight when it comes to my kids? I will fight somebody. Oh, I'm talking about Papa Bear kicks in. I, I just, I, oh. <laughs> that's the, that's one of those things where I might put my, my life gets put on the line. You just can't mess with my kiddos. <laughs> yep. Anything but my kids. Cause look at here. You could talk about me. I'll be like, mm hmm, mm hmm. Come to my babies, my grandbaby, my dog. We got a problem. Exactly like, that, that. That my my journey will be derailed real <laughs> fast if something goes wrong with those kids. It's not gonna go in the direction I thought it was gonna go in. It'd be like, <laughs> like I Viv when they was locked up, and she was like, "Oh no, honey, I'm really about to show you how we get busy." That's me. <laughs> hey, whatever it takes, whatever it takes, by any means necessary. So with Solo, where do you feel you want to take it for next year, 2021? Ooh, you're you, you, you diving into some of the secrets I haven't released yet. Well, so, that's what I, you know, I get exclusives. I yeah, am so much I'm not mad at you. I'm not mad at you. So <laughs> without, without giving too much, because you still got to give the people something to want for, mm -hmm. uh, without diving in too much, um, the goal is for next year, let's just let a little bit of the cat out the bag. Cause like I said, I'm not in competition. If somebody comes up with ideas that match it, hey, let's go out there together and do the same thing. So I have this vision of monthly themes. Cause even though solo is about the entire journey, there are certain parts of your journey that could like we just, I just said a minute ago, either derail, a journey, derail your journey or a hurdle you might have to go through 
like for example when you focus on like black uh breast cancer awareness month i want solo to focus that month on the journey and the of those survivors and those loved ones that we've lost due to breast cancer i want to focus us on that part of the journey so we can put out because there no no one person is left out in this journey from african-american history month um to whatever month you could think of if you got ideas i'm gonna be searching for all of them but if y'all got something that you're looking for, because it's not just my journey. I'm all about requests. I put the uh, information out there. They can submit it on uh, Facebook, Instagram, through email. I'm all about getting that that recognition out there for something that another, because if you're going through it, best believe somebody else has went through it or is going through it as well. And Solo wants to be a part of that because we're all on this journey called life together. So that's one of the, one of the many things that uh, we're focusing on for next year but just want to put emphasis on certain months so we can highlight those months as a whole. Not that that one month is the only time we're worried about it because we care about these issues throughout the whole year, but I want to give that focus to let them know like, hey, we're here with you on the support for that journey because Solo One isn't just about my journey. It's not just about your journey. It's our journey together. So sometimes we might be the lead and sometimes as Solo One, you have to step back and support those that need to be led. Yeah. I agree. I agree 100% because cancer hits anybody. Hits kids, anybody. hits adults, hits men, women. Look, look, it's taking out everybody. Exactly. And these young ones, are, look, Wakanda forever. Come on. When he died, I'm like, oh my God, I'm 43. Now I'm 44 because after my birthday, but he died when I was 43. Exactly. And he died at 43. I'm like, Jesus. That's why I tell people, get your mammograms. I took a picture in front of the um, machine and I posted it on, hello, breast cancer month. I do breast cancer line as well because my aunt is a survivor. My godmother is a survivor. My, my popo, he died of cancer, but it was long right, cancer because he wouldn't stop smoking. No matter how much I tried to tell him and begged him and plead. Some people don't see what is doing to their body, but we see, and even they do see and still don't, but you know what I mean? So it's like cancer hit hard in my family. So I do a line of breast cancer. I do different designs. You know what I mean? I bring awareness. I talk about it. And like heart, when it's time for dialysis, I have friends that's on my, I have a cousin who can't be on the transplant list. You know what I mean? So yeah, it's serious. So yeah, when is that month? I like to also make shirts for that. I have autistic in my family. My little cousin's autistic. I made an autistic shirt. Simple fact is we don't discriminate. Not at all. We bring awareness. And I also try to teach my children just because somebody is a little different, they're still one of us. They're still mm -hmm. humans. And exactly. my kids love, um, they're not afraid. If they don't understand something, I explain it to them and then they cool beans with it. You know you what gotta, I mean? You gotta explain it because life is our biggest teacher. Sure. Ooh, say that again. You never life know. That's the same person you looking at one day wondering what's wrong, that could be you the next day. So exactly. You gotta support because you never know when you're gonna need that exact same support that somebody needed from you. Exactly. My thing is. But one thing I did realize, and I try to teach my kids, I said, you're not an ATM. If they're going to withdraw, no. make sure they're depositing as well. Because if they're not depositing and they're just withdrawing, then that's somebody you don't need on your team. Exactly. You got to know when your, when your cup's uh, half full and you need to fill back up. Because if you're just pouring out and pouring out and nothing's ever getting pouring, in, pouring into you, it's not going to work. Exactly. So you got you to gotta be a yin and yang. Right. Now, in some instances, because I, I, it's funny, I, I, I preach this to my family all the time. I understand circumstances. So if I'm one of those, if the situation is where I got to pour into you a lot more and you can only throw dabs here and there, I'm not going to hold you again, hold that against you. Because throughout life, there was times that I needed somebody to pour a lot into me and I didn't have much to offer. Wow. As long as you show that you're putting forth an effort and offering something, it doesn't necessarily have to be my money or or anything of that nature. It could be something as simple as if you need help and I'm trying to pour into you all the help I can and I can see you running out there trying to succeed, that's all they need to know. But if you're just pouring and pouring and pouring and you're just sitting there doing nothing with it and not giving back, 
You got to do something. It doesn't have to match 50-50. Might be 90-10, whatever it may be. Just do your part, and I expect to see some, some type of return on my investment. Exactly. I'm the same way. And I'm like, okay, I know where you're at, and I know your circumstances. I'm not holding that against you. But when you're dropping little nuggets for me, I listen. Exactly. And the thing is, like you said, yeah, we was in a place before coming up trying to, we had people pouring into us and they knew that they couldn't get it then, but now they can. And exactly. it's the same ones that was there for you in the beginning that is still rocking to the end. You know what I mean? So I feel you on that. I really do because being an entrepreneur is hard. Having yeah. a full-time job and then doing entrepreneuring where you work in 24 hours, seven days a week if you're not sleeping. Like I sleep and I'm still dreaming of my next <laughs> move. Like Ernest was like, yo, your mind is like mine. It don't shut off. Exactly. So our time is precious. And if we're giving you our time, that means you mean something to us. Respect exactly. our time. You know what I mean? Don't play with my time. I make sure I don't let nobody play with my time no more. I, <laughs> I, 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 I swear, if I, if I didn't know no better, you, I, I feel like you was in the solo one staff meetings I was having with myself. Because <laughs> that's the whole concept behind it. Like, we're on a journey and I got helped and pushed and pulled and all kinds of things throughout my journey to get me here. So I'm trying to turn around and I'm reaching back because I want to help push and pull. So... Remember, I told you it's a lot that is happening next year with this brand. So what most people don't realize, yes, it was going to come out later so it can come out now. So my family and I, we've been blessed to make it to 20 years, got the retirement check. That, re that retirement check is going to support us and carry us on. The Solo One brand is not just like me saying, oh, we're getting rich. Just about most of the funds that come in from all the shirts and everything that are being, the, the merchandise that's being sold, it's going back out to other people, whether it be charities. Uh, me and the wife, we were just talking and we started working on it this weekend. We're putting together bags where those bags, when you go like drive down the street and you see somebody that might be in need, homeless, whatever it may be, we hand those bags out. Like the solo one money doesn't just come into the Graham household and it's like, let's get rich and become the next billionaires and millionaires. No, that, that money and stuff is going out to help other people on their journey. We have other business ventures that's supposed to take care of the family. That's where that, that, that journey, that solo one journey, it's about helping those that help us get to where we are today. And we're reaching out, trying to help those that we can help along the way. Like when you think about, we just talked about it, breast cancer awareness. When that month comes, not a penny of that money from any sales made that month on that, on that particular shirt is coming in this house. That money is going right back out to breast cancer research. So the... When people see you with a brand, they're like, oh, my, you, you're trying to make money and try to be the next person. No, I this solo one brand is not about money. It's about helping anybody that we can along the journey. It might be we see a family that's in need for the holidays. We might see that mother or father that's struggling at the grocery store to buy groceries. And it's like, hey, we got a solo one debit card. Let's swipe it. Like that money is to give back to help others along their journey, because like I said, Nobody can get to the top if we don't all get there together. I don't care who you are, the richest person in the world, they did not get there by themselves. Now, whether or not they decided to reach back and help anybody get up there with them, I don't know. I can't say that. But all I know is we're in an equal race, if you ask me, and we all going to get there together. And if Solo One can do their part to help, that's what we're here for, because it's about the journey together, 24-7, 365. It doesn't stop. Just like you said, your mind, your mind never shuts down because you're always thinking like I am about the next way to help somebody else get to where they need to get there. Cause let's be honest, when the <laughs> lights shut off, like we don't know when our fourth quarter's up. We know when we were born, but we don't know when that shot clock gonna tick tap down to zero in our life. But when I walk away, I want my family to be able to reach back and say, hey, while he was here, he did everything that he could and he left this to keep it going. Solo one is the journey, the journey never ends. It's not gonna stop when I go. It's not going to stop with my wife and my kids. I want that thing to keep going with those behind it. That's the whole point of Solo One, to help everybody with their journey because it never ends. So let's support each other. Let's get out there and help each other. You, Everybody has their way of doing things. They have their way of support, how they want to help people. This is just one avenue that my family and I came up with that we found a way to give back. Because let's be honest, we're at a point where 
we were tight with money. We didn't have the money to help. So instead of asking people for donations, hey, how about you wear this shirt representing the journey and people see you with it, they'll understand the journey and they know that, hey, by you buying that shirt, you help somebody that we may not know. You help somebody along the way with their journey and their time of need. I do the same thing. Like, no wonder why Ernest linked us. Because <laughs> when winter time comes, normally I'll put on my page, hey, it's that time of year again. Um, if you have, if you can donate gloves, scarves, hats, everything. And then money from God's property. I go to McDonald's or I um I get five dollar gift cards. You know what I mean? I yep. do a bag, a bag of water, snacks, granola bars that can last through because Boy Scouts, exactly. you know, those oak granolas, that'll yep. help nourish you because it has oats, wheat, has honey, has other stuff in it, oh, chocolate chip and peanut butter as well. So I get those, I put it in a bag. I put gloves, scarf, and hat. Yep. So if I do run past somebody out on the street with no hat on, no scarf and everything, and that looks homeless, here's a bag. So the gift cards in there with the water and everything with the snack, hat, gloves, and scarf. The simple fact is we're giving back because That's we don't about. know how they got there. Like they could have been a regular person like us, exactly. hit bankruptcy, lost everything, and nobody exactly. was willing to help them. That's all it's about. Help. And so people was like, oh, you rolling in the dough now. I was mm. like, no, <laughs> no, boo, no, <laughs> no, not I like, no, I, I was like, I would love to be rolling in, but the proceeds that I do things for, uh, no, yeah, it's, like, it's if, the help. Like the if something else makes, if something else makes the money, that something else makes the money. I'm all about that. Cause I'm not telling people to live, live how you want to live. Something else makes the money, it makes the money. I just want people to know that this design right here, Solo One, that's not what's going to make the money. <laughs> exactly. That's why I have a regular nine to five job. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so that's good. We really going to have to work on when it's time. For, oh, me and you really going to be talking off the scene. You know how we going to be doing I'm, I'm with it. You know how we do. So... I got the black one too, but I brought it for Jalen. He doesn't watch this, but that's one of his um, Christmas gifts. Oh, so that's what's the up. black shirt that I ordered from you that I got. Yep. Yeah, that, that's gonna be right. I gotta order Little Man his hoodie. He loves the hoodies. You know, he's the sports child. He like, loves. I love. <laughs> I know they all the kids love hoodies. Yes. I'll be looking I up like it's hot. Know. It's hot outside. Why you got a hoodie on? <laughs> no, Miles. During the day, one is. Right now, he'll be in shorts going outside to the car to go to his training class if he could. Yeah. No, yep. no. I wish I, that's how I am. Me and Miles are the same. He loves hoodies, though. I, I, but wear shorts, but got a hoodie on. <laughs> he hot and cold. He prepared for the seasons. He's like my mother. So <laughs> I'm definitely going to order your hoodie one for him. So that way he can have his own and uh, these two. But your clothing line, I love it. And I seen the other one, was it 24 7? 24 7, 365. Yes. What made you do that design? So that design was all about it just never ends. In life, because I know I, I can't speak for everybody, there's been times that I'm like, wow, when will it ever end? It's like you're just getting beat in the head, but you got to keep going kids looking at you you got to keep going you're at work your boss is looking at you you got to keep going like life just keeps hitting you and you're still expected to give out that same 120 and it's like it's steady hitting you in the head and you can't stop you won't stop because the person you are you're gonna keep going because you're gonna make sure everybody's taken care of but it never stops even while you sleep your mind is running you hit wake up in the morning what i gotta do for the day 24 7 365 there's no hot no holidays there's no weekends there's no down days like, hey, take half a day off so you can enjoy it. Nah, something's always going on. Something's coming up. So it was always solo, 24-7, 365. Because if you actually look at the design, the word solo is all throughout the design. That's what makes up the numbers to let you know that it never stops. The journey never ends. Nothing stops. It's going to keep going 24-7, 365. Now, do you do it out, out of your home or you have someone producing the shirts for you? 
So I'm working with somebody that produces the show. It's a little bit of both. So it's getting produced by somebody um, that helps me with the shipping because, like I said, we got running all these multiple things around here. So somebody helps me with that part of it. And at the same time, I also keep a stock on me at all times because you never know. You might run across somebody and it's, it, it, let's just be honest, everybody's not into just getting on computers and following through social medias and websites. Somebody might be like, I want the shirt. I just so happen to have some in the trunk with me. Let me run outside and grab them. Like you'll be so if you saw my <laughs> I literally keep a box in the back of my truck. <laughs> I keep a suitcase. <laughs> and if somebody asks me for a shirt, I'm like, hey, I got you. They right here. Because <laughs> like, I don't want to miss. I'm big on opportunities. You never miss an opportunity because who knows that one person that doesn't get online or catches me in the street that I, I get that shirt from and we make that transaction, who knows, they might walk down the street and they might see somebody and it might inspire them to help them. Who knows the transaction we might have just made. I might be in line at the grocery store and that bill might have rung up to 115 and that purchase just helped me get the 115 to swipe the card. I don't know. You never know. So I never take turn down opportunities because I really believe in every opportunity you're going to either win because there's no losers. You're either going to win or you're going to learn something. Yeah. There's no losing an opportunity. So I keep the box with me. Uh, we ship here and there. We got suppliers that help with that. But yeah, it goes both ways, no matter how you how you want it. I got family members like like moms and uncles. They're not going online. They just call me up and be like, hey, baby, I, I, want, I want a black shirt. All right, I, I send you a black shirt. <laughs> you coming I home for this? Yeah. I, I want a gray one, but I'll bring it home with me, mama. I got you. Like, whatever they want. Because yeah. that's what it's here for. Because they're they're not getting it just for themselves. They're getting it for support. But I've seen people that just, I want to get some to my family. Okay. Because that's what it's all about. I want everybody to get the word out there. Spread the word. Because yeah. once everybody understands and sees what it means, it's no different than back in the day when we had FUBU. I'm probably killing my age now. <laughs> for us botless. Me too. FUBU. <laughs> yeah. Boy, that was a whole was a reason behind that. It was a whole reason behind that whole brand and everything. So it started on along, along the same lines. It's for a reason. So however we can help get it out there, we get it out there. Yeah, I agree. People are like, oh, God's property. I was like, it's not, I was like, it's beyond God's property. I was like, it's empowerment, it's encouragement. These little girls, like the I am enough. And I was like, there's meanings behind it. So when you had solo one, I was like, yes, okay. Ernest, I can rock with him. Ernest, like, I know, that's why I linked y'all. <laughs> But you got you got to wait. It's the most of them. We drop in a couple of more. What next week or the week after? Right. It's gonna be around Christmas time. Not just not so everybody got a rest for Christmas. It's just the time frame that we already had uh, set up scheduled for how we were dropping things. Um, so be be on the lookout because going into New Year, there's gonna be some empowerment shirts that go with the solo that helps understand a little bit more. It's stages to this. You know how you know how we do. It's levels to this. I know. We we do a little. <laughs> Drop. Yeah. Let it marinate. Let it marinate. What, what, what Salt Bay do? The little sprinkle. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Yeah. Like my shirt. You're the salt of the earth. Hey, I like that shirt. I like that one. That was a nice one. I might have to. Now I got to go buy that one too. Man. <laughs> Look, I already told you, me and you going to be supporting each other for a while now. <laughs> I'm like, who brand is you on this? Is you is you a solo one of God's property? Which one is you? Which one is you belong to? I belong to all of them. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm one of those people. If you got it, because I'm all about supporting. Not it doesn't matter if you support me or not. You know what I'm saying? But I'm all, I can't change who I am because of who you may be. And I don't take that as a negative thing. That's just who you are. Like I got uh, it's funny you talk about loyalty. I got a cousin. His brand is loyalty over lust. All I ask is trust. And I swear, I like that. that boy drops dope. Hey, follow him on, uh, he's on Facebook, uh, Sandor and Roberson. Boy, it's cold with it. He got he got some some hot stuff out there. And I can't even, I'm all about it, support. Like I said, it's enough out there for anybody. Like, yeah, you might see some people like, you got a, you're on a podcast about Solo One. Why are you talking about other people? Because it's-, <laughs> it's That's what we're supposed to do. We it's for everybody. I don't even know if he's watching it, but if he is, hey, Cause oh shout out man I hope you big blessings for you I hope you do great things I'm loving what I'm seeing keep grinding keep going after it because whether you're not believe it or not man all we ask is trust and I'm right there with you 
right? Uh, you need to post on your page his thing so I can order that one. Cause look, loyalty and trust is my two big things. Man, I got bottom lines and those are my bottom lines. Oh, let's believe. I will share that today. That ain't nothing hard to do. Like, don't lie to me. Don't lie. Don't <laughs> lie to me. That's you story. don't have to. Love. Love. It's no reason to lie because we can get through it all. Just tell me. Let's go ahead and keep it moving. There's if I gotta find out, it's gonna come out regardless. But if I gotta find out, now I'm looking at you different because if you'd have just told me the truth, people make mistakes, people mess up, people exactly. do things wrong. But just don't tell lie. me. Let's get over. It. Don't like, lie. How can we fix it? <laughs> There's no fixing if you lie to me. Cause now I'm like, what else are you hiding from me? Cause I'm not a digger. I don't dig. I don't dig for nothing. I'm not going to look for it. I didn't. If I want, if I make, I'm making clothing design. I was in the military. I did not sign up to be a detective. I'm not going to detect and look for nothing. I'm a paralegal, so. Um, <laughs> well, your your job kind of requires you. To yeah. That. So so I can I can smell real BS real quick. No, no, I can not too. But only detective work you're gonna get out of me is if it got something to do with these boys running around my house. <laughs> I got I gotta keep an eye on them because whether or not they believe it, I gotta make sure the product that me and they mama put out into the world is a good one because I can't let you go out there and. I'm, it's not even about name anymore because it's you that they're looking at. It's your reputation. Like yeah. it has to be a solid one. And if, yeah. if it's not solid, they're looking at you, not me. They're going to be looking at you because we're going to keep moving. But I want a great product out into the world. So when it comes to detective work, I know my three boys be like, man, inspect the gadget dad. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I be calling them like, why are you outside without a coat on? They be looking like, how you know you at work? Did you forget we got cameras, bro? Everywhere. I know you. Watching. Huh? Yeah, they be forgetting. Yeah, I be like, mm-hmm. There's cameras, boo boo. There's cameras. So I know who comes in and who goes out. Play with me if you want to. It's for more than just safety. It's <laughs> right, boys. <laughs> Man, listen, yeah. But um, with you now, during this pandemic, did it affect solo? No, it actually didn't. So the pandemic, it's kind of funny you say that because the pandemic, it allowed people to be at home a lot more. Mm -hmm. So during that time, sales actually went up. <laughs> I was like, it, first, it started off because we started it this year and it took off and I'm like, hold on. Because I, 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 I did all the research, you know, what they call it, market research. Yeah. Did all the research because I'm one of those, I don't like to be surprised. I want to know how things going, that OCD again. And so when it took off, I was like, hold on, did it take off because people like it or because they bored? And then as people started asking, I started explaining and I'm like, oh no, it's taking off because they understand and they can relate because everybody can relate. It's not necessarily one solo, like solo didn't just pertain to one thing. You can put it in every category and I'm like, oh, it's taking off because they can relate. So during the time of COVID, it really didn't hurt it. It actually helped it a little bit. Um, thank goodness. Thank God. I'm pretty sure the people that are reaping the benefits for it, they appreciate it as well. I'm going to tell you all thank you on behalf of them uh, right now because we appreciate the support and I'm sure they do as well. Uh, but no, it actually, COVID actually helped out a little bit if you ask me because it, it gave people a chance to sit down and stop, breathe, read, understand, look at what they were purchasing, not just Oh, my kids want the next hottest thing. Let me just buy it. They actually took the time to look into it. So I think it helped it. Now tell everybody how they could contact you. Oh, for me, uh, on Facebook, we're just Solo One, Solo Space One on uh, Facebook. Uh, if you're looking for us on Instagram, Solo One underscore clothing. Uh, you can also reach us through email, Solo One clothing at gmail.com or you can just hit me on my personal page billy graham can't miss me it's a bunch of us out there but you'll see my picture um hit us hit me up any way you feel like we'll get it out there if you have ideas or suggestions that you would like to see to make the brand better because understand it or not this brand is for you all if you see something that you want to do or that uh, are inspired by something and we can help you get it out there. We can work something out. We'll get it out there because uh, it's all about what the people need, what the people want, and what's going to help them get through the journey. Whatever you need to help you, let us know and we got you. Okay. Now, I'm switching up some things real quick now. If I, when I say a word, 
Say what's the first thing that comes to you. <laughs> okay. Ready? I guess. Yes, I am. What you say? I didn't hear you. Hot. Cold. Loyalty. Trust. Family. First. Job. Sacrifice. Fight. Win. Quit. Never. Ugly. Beautiful. Uh, Ernest was like, what you gonna do? I was like, I'm gonna start switching it up like you told me. So <laughs> <laughs> now tell, some, tell the viewers something that people don't know that you would like them to know about you about me that they don't know man that's kind of that's a good one because if you follow me on social media you already know everything about me because i don't bite my tongue i say what's on my mind because i believe in being honest and forthcoming i'm an open book um ah one thing y'all don't know so no nah, we're not giving that one out yet no i'm gonna give it out i'm gonna give it out I'm going to give it out. We're working on something right now, me and my family, because remember, I'm all about giving back. Mm -hmm. So we just got approval in Texas, um, starting our new business venture. It's uh, called Deve uh, Committed Development Incorporated. Okay. Um, the slogan uh, for that is commitment is the foundation for success. The whole thing about that journey is construction. We want to, you hear people say buy back the block. I'm all about buying back the block. Don't get me wrong. But in some instances, when, because everybody's buying back the block, it done on me and my family as me and my wife talked about it. What if we start building blocks? So I could go out there and start looking for people to build them for me, but I'm a hands on type of person. My wife likes to dive in head first with me on things. So our new venture. That's coming along. We already got the approval. Everything's done. Um, got all the corporation stuff together. And so now we're moving forward. So look forward to seeing committed development uh, 2021. Um, we're starting off in Texas, but we plan to God willing, God given strength, even if it's not me and it's the kids or the kids after, you will see committed development popping up hopefully worldwide, not hopefully, will be popular worldwide real soon. We're, we're getting there. We're trying to get back. We want everybody, because in my mind, nobody should be without a home. Everybody should have a roof over their head. Everybody deserves financial freedom. Everybody to have, deserves to have mental stability. Let's just be honest. Everybody should be on the same playing field, equality. But you can't have that with some of the things that we have going on in the world today. So if me and my family can do that positive, be that positive person or influence to at least help that first family and that family help somebody else, that's what we're all about. Because that solo one journey has led us to this point. We're hoping it leads others to other points. And we hope committed development is there to bless somebody else along the way with them getting to their next step in life. So that's something that we let, I'm letting the cat out the bag. My wife probably gonna choke me after this, but uh, <laughs> yes, Committed Development Incorporated is coming to you 2021. That is amazing. Congratulations. Thank and you. you can speak it now because the ink is dry. It's dry. See, we dry, don't speak dry. ahead of time anymore. We, we let it manifest and then it speaks for itself. But that's for awesome. Us. Because I was talking to Ernest and Ron and um, CJ, like, look, up here in Buffalo, there's a strip of just boarded up homes. And I'm like, mm -hmm. you know what we could do with that? Buy them, gut them out, rebuild them. Buildings yep. that are boarded up. So much potential, exactly. but nobody's willing to do it. Hey, that's what we're here for. Call us. We travel. Well, <laughs> Buffalo. We travel. Man, I got some ideas. Like I said, Billy, we're going to be doing <laughs> We travel. We come wherever we need to go in the United States. We'll get there. Look, let's do this. It takes I'm a ready. village. And look, we got to build it back because back in the day, New Jersey had a village of its own African-Americans. 
Yeah. Bankers, lawyers, everything was all African American, black owned. Rosewood, black owned village before that it. situation occurred. It's like it's time to rebuild. It's time to value our land and our property. It's time to not mistreat it. It. I commend you and your wife. I'm so happy for you. I can't <laughs> wait. I can't wait. Now, when you do the first one, you know, does speak easy. Sunshine got to be on the scene with it. Hey, I will let you know. So if that first one hit, it's going. Hey, when it first one hit, everybody, I think everybody going to get tired of me posting. I might be videoing every day. I'm, walk, I'm walking through the grounds again. Oh, we digging dirt again. Oh, we nailed our first nail again. Like, hey. You y'all might get tired of seeing me because I'm be right. What are you doing? I'm driving to the site again. Like I'm gonna be all on social. I want everybody to because I want I want everybody to see it because let's be honest, I watch my kids and there's nothing wrong with this. They like social media, they like gaming, they like all YouTube, and they love all this stuff. I want to be so repetitious with putting it out there and consistent when they see it. They like what's going on again? Committed development, going to another place. I want it to be so they see it because you never know who that next person that might be seeing it. And they don't want to be a YouTube star. They might not want to be the next gamer. They might be like, oh, I can jump into construction. Or, Ooh, I can make clothing lines. Like, I want them to see it so much in their face that it's beating them down the same way we put all this other stuff on TV and social media that's, that's beating down our kids. I want them to see it so much that it gives them a drive to go want to do something better. Not that it's wrong with that, but do something else better to help the next person. Yeah. And to show hard work. This is what exactly. hard work looks like. Exactly. No, you're not giving them spoons of a platter. No, we work for it. That way you know how to value your dollar. Exactly. I have one that loves to value his money and he saves up miles. Jalen, he's a spender. He gets it honestly. So it's like, the oldest, he's now saving and he's micromanaging and everything. Yeah, but but they need to know you got to work hard for it. Exactly. Like mine, I, what I love about mine, because we we had a talk last night. <laughs> my, mine, both my older two, they're spenders, but it's a different type of spending. They're spending to build their brands. Okay. And so, and so I'm not, it's like one of those like, hey, I know what you're doing. But I need you to look at it from both sides because you're not always going to be in. I want you to stay as long as you can, but you won't always be in mom and dad's house. And so I want you to build that system inside of you that like, OK, I can spend this much on the brand, but I need to reserve this because I got to invest and save for the rainy day with my emergency fund. Like I want you to have that thought process already built inside of you right now. They're like, OK, the brand needs this. And they're like, go buy it. The brand needs this. Go buy it. The only one of the three that's saving is a seven-year-old because kind of we don't let be like, I want another game. You don't need another game. Go play what you got. <laughs> right? But hey, he comes down sometimes too. Hey, dad, what are we doing? We're folding some more shirts. We got some new shirts. Uh, he'll be like, can we go buy some more shirts? I'll buy some shirts. And it's like, son, you're not buying any shirts. Hold on to your money. We got this. But I love it because he sees it that it's happening in his house. He's already said before. He's told me recently like, ah, oh, yeah, dad, I don't, I don't think I'm going to be working for anybody. I, I think I need to work for myself. I'm like, that's all I needed to hear. That means you're catching what I'm, because there's nothing wrong. I want everybody out there to understand there's nothing wrong with working for anybody. Because there's some people out there that it's all about following your passion, your love, your gift. If your love is you want to be the garbage man, drive the garbage truck. My kid's the same way. He loves garbage truck. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. But for this is for that individual that wakes up and they're going to work. They're not passionate about it. They don't love what they're doing. They're just disgruntled. That means you're not following your gift and you need to get to where your gift is. So if that means you have to dig deep and find something else and make the transition through that, that's what you have to do. That's what those individuals are for, but it's all the same journey. Whether your journey is, I love going to work every day or I love to be an entrepreneur, just follow your journey, follow your dream, chase your passion and manifest your that destiny. Amen. Well, what would you like to leave your clients and your new viewers? What would I like to leave? It's really simple for me. My, for me, is do what you love, love what you do. The journey won't be easy. I just tell you, don't quit. Because there's no reason in quitting, because as hard as you work to get to that point, the moment you quit, that next day might have been your breakthrough. 
You never know when your breakthrough is going to happen. You never know where your journey is going to take you, who you're going to meet along the way. Just keep following your passion, chasing your dreams. And as I said, manifest your destiny and don't quit on your journey. Well, I thank you for coming on today, brother. And I thank always you. I love the encouragements that you put on your post. It's like sometimes I be stealing yours and posting it too. I was like, repost. Hey, it ain't a stealing. Somebody got to see it. <laughs> well, we got to get it out there. But I get do love the solo one, the meaning behind it, the value of it. And I am, again, congratulations to you and your wife for this new Great. upcoming adventure for 2021. Thank you. We appreciate that. But we will be talking on the sidebars about the other adventures we're going to be doing together. I'm always ready. <laughs> well, this is your girl, Sunshine, saying thank you for tuning in. Like and share, like and share, like and share, share. Subscribe to our YouTube page. Subscribe to our Instagram page. And you already have us on Facebook, but if you're not, subscribe there too. And we thank you. Have a blessed night. And don't forget, we have more stuff coming to you Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday is Hip Hop Friday. We're having a gospel r and I can't wait Ryan. to see that. I got to see that. It will be on Friday. And then next week, Paris from EPMD. Oh, I'm, I'm going to be on there. Yeah. You're going to see me in the comments. <laughs> I'm doing a live interview. Paris from EPMD. I'm going to be in the comments talking my head off. Look, I can't wait. <laughs> and we're going to have Villa, um, Villa G and um, we're going to have RJ. That okay. They are um, being managed by my friend from high school. So I was like, yes, look, we rhino management. So it's going to be us in the building. I Eric is wait. going to be with his family, his mom down south. So he's not, it's not going to be the full EPMD, but I'm getting one of them. Hey, one that's, of them, that's, one of them, that's, them. that's enough. Look, that's our childhood growing up. <laughs> that's you know? what I'm saying. As long as we get one, that's good. I'm like, I remember going to the bus stop, listening with my cassette tapes. I was, yeah, don't I'm get me started. <laughs> like, Ooh, that, that one was good. Press reverse and rewind at the same time and flip it yes. over to the B side. <laughs> yes, you know. So I'm like, I'm so excited like a kid in a candy store. So my kids is like, who's EPMD? I was like, oh, it's going to be an all EPMD day this weekend. They're going to hear it. You know what I mean? Hey, that, I would do the same EPMD thing. EPMD is. They got to know. For real. Real hip hop. We grew up <laughs> with that. So, you know, you, I, you see the antness, right? Yeah, I, I'm not mad at you. I, I'm, I'm keeping mine bottled up. I'm waiting to be in the comments. <laughs> I don't want to reveal too much. Well, again, it's great speaking to you like always. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for coming on. Anytime. And again, I'll be putting my order in on Friday. I can't wait. And I and got I you coming too. I you. The one of enough is enough, cut the cord. That's the know. one. That's Yeah, I want that one. Yeah. And that other one, do not disturb my peace. Hey, do don't don't talk peace. about that. That's a Christmas present. Don't tell nobody else. My peace. I don't, I don't know if they paying attention. That's a Christmas present. <laughs> Period. <laughs> no, I had to make that. Yeah. But thank you for your support as well. Always. Loyalty. Yes. So loyal. <laughs> thank you, guys. Thank you, loyals. Have a good night. Mwah, mwah.